it was my sophomore year, and I'd always been a runner, um, so it was just natural natural for me to uh, run track. The top four in teams in each district move on to the sectional level, and then it's the state level. And we were the fourth team to place at districts. We were the fourth team to place at sectionals. And we made it to state, and none of us could believe it. State is in Jefferson City, Missouri, and it's at this huge stadium, and there's so many people there, you feel like you're at the Olympics or something. The 4x800 is at the beginning of the track meet, it's the opening race. So everyone's, you know, warming up around you, getting totally pumped up and ready to go, and uh, we're all at the line just chomping at the bit, ready to go. And so the gun shot off. All the other teams just took off. And our first girl, who was our slowest girl, started us off. I think immediately we were in second to last place. And, you know, just standing at the line waiting for the baton, I still had two other girls uh, besides her in front of me. So I was just like, okay, okay, we got to You know, we're okay. We still have two more people to go. We can catch up. Our next runner win, she was a little better. So she caught us up a little bit, but you know, not much. The teams that were in front of us, they were just so good. The mentality you have is, you know, at least we made it to state. At least we, we made it here. You know, you don't have to, we don't have to place or anything, but I, I'll be satisfied with this. So by the time it got to me, we must have been in 12th place out of 16 teams. Um, and I got the baton and I ran my first lap. And after that, the first lap, your adrenaline carries you. You don't really need to try because you're just moving and you're like kind of like a robot, just just going. But by the time you hit the uh, first curve of your second lap, you start to feel it and you get really tired. And I just remember thinking, it's okay, I made it this far. I'm done. Like, it's fine. I just got to finish. You know, we made it to state. That's that's a huge accomplishment. You know, I'm fine with this. And then I see my teammate, Diamond is her name. She was on that inside curb warming up, and she was just yelling at me, like, you have to go now. You have to go. Push it. You, it's now or never. Go, go. And I was just like, it was like a wake-up call. Like, am I really going to settle for their for this, just for making it this far. And, you know, my legs and my lungs were like, yeah, just settle, just settle, just, it's, you're fine. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be happy with just this. I thought my legs were gonna fall off and the crowd is, is going crazy because I'm passing like two girls uh, and then three girls and I just keep going and I just saw this girl in yellow shorts ahead of me, and I was like, I'm going to get her. Whoever she is, I'm going to get her. I just began closing in on her, and within, I think, two feet of the line, I passed her, and we ended up getting the last medal spot at state. I'm, I'm glad it became more about pushing myself as hard as I could rather than just finishing and just crossing the line. Placing in the state meet was unreal because at the beginning of the season it was something none of us had imagined. It wasn't even a goal because we just thought it was unattainable, but um, to stand up there in the podium, it, it really felt like I did something. I did this. It was unbelievable.